Look at this decimal number chart. There are patterns in number charts. What are the missing numbers that would continue the pattern in this chart? You can use place value relationships to find the patterns. Let's look for the patterns by looking at the rows and columns of the chart. What can you tell by looking at the rows in the decimal chart? The numbers increase by one hundredth as you move from left to the right. What can you tell by looking at vertical columns of the decimal chart? The chart shows an increase by one tenth as you move down. What can you do to fill in the squares on the chart? Continue the pattern to label the other squares. Let's look at the chart a little closer to identify the patterns. Look at the following column from the chart. What are the missing decimals? As you work with vertical columns, you will see the tenths increase by one. The hundredths stay the same as you move down. What number is just after 31 hundredths in the vertical column? How do you know? The next number is 41 hundredths because the tenths increase by one and the hundredths stay the same. Now look at a row from the decimal chart. What are the missing decimals? Moving from left to right, the tenths are the same in each row except for the last number. Why does the last square contain thirty hundredths? For the last square, you increase the hundredths by one. The previous hundredth is twenty nine hundredths, so the next number is thirty hundredths or three tenths. Look at the columns and rows to find the patterns to fill in all the missing numbers.